As we get deeper and deeper into fall fishing, there's one lure that's going to provide a unique advantage over cold water redfish and trout, and that is a mirror lure. These are extremely effective in the late fall when that water temperature really drops, that fish metabolism is really low, and you're struggling to find a lure that's going to get fish to strike. So mirror lure does make a lot of different hard body baits, but the two I'm going to be focused on in this video are going to be twitch baits, and that's going to be your sinking twitch bait and your suspending twitch bait, specifically the 52 MR that I've got here and the 27 MR that I've got over here. Now, I'm also gonna be talking about the 17 MR because it's just a smaller version of the 27 and really to talk to you guys briefly about which one I'm gonna choose for when. I'll use the 27 MR a little bit earlier on in the season when there's still a lot of big bait around. But as we get later into the fall and even into the winter, I'll start throwing the 17 MR because there's really only small bait fish around and that's really what those predators are gonna dial in on. These are going to allow you to cover the shallow zones for redfish and trout. And the objective of this lure is to get it in front of a fish's face and let it sit there. Again, I really like to use these when it's really, really cold outside. Those fish have become extremely lethargic and they're not hitting any of my lures. They're moving by them a little bit faster. Let's say I'm throwing my paddle tails or top waters. They're not going after those, but I know they're there. I don't like to use these as search baits. You know, you fish them really slow. Uh, they don't cover distances really well. So I really don't like to pull these out when I know there's fish in an area and I'm having trouble getting them to strike. So just to show you guys how this would work on the water, in fact, we're gonna be seeing some footage with a 17 MR. Essentially, all I'm doing here, giving it a cast to an area that I know there's fish in, letting it kind of sit right in front of those fish's face, maybe giving it a pop or two, and this is where you're going to get your strikes. Look at this guy. So now we've covered our suspending twitch baits. Let's talk about our sinking twitch baits. And these are really gonna be my go-to for trout because I know those trout right now are holding in some deeper ledges, some deeper water, and I need to get down there and cover that area. And unfortunately, these suspending twitch baits, I mean, they're great at their job. They stay in one little bit of the water column without moving, which is great for staying in front of those fish, but they don't sink very well. So if I've got fish that are holding in a deeper area, I have a hard time getting onto them with that bait. But these sinking twitch baits really are effective because what's gonna happen with this tie that's right above the eye, whenever I make any kind of pop with that lure, instead of bringing it forward like it does with this lure, it's gonna shoot this one forward because the tie is in front of the eye. When I tie it up here on top and I give it some pops with my rod tip, it's gonna bring it up and then it's gonna let it settle back down. This has a great darting action to it. So if you're covering a ledge or a drop off for trout or a rip in a current, what you're able to do is cover multiple depth ranges really quickly and you can really determine exactly where this lure is gonna sit depending on how fast you fish it. So if I want to cover an area a little bit slowly, I'm not gonna make many rod tip movements because it's gonna pull that bait through the water if I do. Uh, but if I really wanna move a little bit faster through an area, cover a little bit larger of a ledge, Edge, I will give it a couple more pops, but essentially where I'm going to be using this bait the most is right along a shoreline where I know there's a gradual drop off and those fish aren't holding on any specific form of structure, but they're using that depth change as some form of something to hold on to. And essentially all I'm going to do is cast right into the current rip exactly where I can see that current stream. I'm going to let this lure be carried by the current and just kind of give it a couple pops, uh, let it be brought with the current to those fish exactly where they're expecting bait to be brought to them. Them. And again, giving some really subtle little pops that's going to give that lure some flash. Again, it's going to bring it just up a little bit to make it look like it's alive instead of just floating in the current. Uh, and that's really where I get a lot of my strikes. So let's go ahead and take a look at some on the water footage now of the sinking twitch bait. There we go. What do we got? Mr. Troutsky. There we go. On the mirror lure. 
So there's a lot of options for fall redfish and trout tackle, but I really like keeping these mirror lures in my box as my wild card when those fish are really picky and I need something to hang in that strike zone for a little bit longer to get those fish to bite. But if you guys would like to pick up some of these mirror lures, we actually do have the new CI series of the 17 MRs in our Salt Strong shop at fishstrong.com for 20% off for insiders. And if you guys wanna pick up rods, reels, all kinds of other lures, things like that, we have that there as well, again, for 20% off for our Salt Strong insiders. But if you guys would like to learn how to become a more effective fisherman. Again, these lures are really great and they're gonna help you catch more fish if you use them in the right areas and you use them the right way. But what's really gonna help you become a better angler is proper spot selection and knowing the right tactics for catching fish, which is exactly what we show you in the Salt Strong Insider Club where we guarantee we're gonna help you catch more fish and save you money on tackle that you're probably already buying. So guys, thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Little